What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another Power Book 2 Ghost video if you're new. Now, today we're going to be talking about your girl, Blanca Rodriguez. Yes, she's back. If you're a fan of power, if you love power, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Power Book 2 Ghost, you get them. When this goes to trial, you make sure I testify. Tasha is no queen pin, and Sax is dirty as fuck. Now, we've seen Sax when he was going up against Davis McLean in the chambers with the judge. In episode two of Power Book Two Ghosts, he called in a rebuttal witness, and this witness was no other than Blanca Rodriguez. And we've seen Blanca come in in season five of Power when Ray Ray first got shot, that's when she came into the show. She was investigating it and she was suspicious of Angela Valdez. She was suspicious of her the entire season five. And then she had pretty much a bigger role in Power Season 6. Now we didn't see her in the first episode of Power Book 2 Ghost, but I just knew, I just knew she was going to return. Now we know how she feels about Sax. You know, at one point she was working with Sax and then she found out he's dirty as hell. And then she didn't like Sax. And then she worked with them again. She kept going back and forth when it came to working with Sax. But as of right now, she doesn't like Sax at all. She comes into the chambers where the judge is at. Sax is asking her all kinds of questions, but he won't really let her go into detail. He keeps on saying, let's have you say yes or no. Don't say anything beyond that. It kind of pissed her off because she wanted to tell all the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. She wanted to say that Tasha is not a queen pin. She just wanted to say what was on her mind and Sax wouldn't let it happen. But after the meeting is over, Sax leaves the room. Everybody leaves the room except Davis McLean and Paula Matarazzo. And Blanca whispers something to them and she says, look, this is going to trial. Put me up there to testify. Sax is dirty as fuck. I need to expose him you know she's saying that he's just dirty and she's gonna spill everything on this dude so will Blanca Rodriguez be one of the ones to help take Sax down maybe along with Tariq either way Sax is going down I think that's pretty much a fact as of right now we know that Sax is going down no matter what at the end of this Sax will not win the only question is when Blanca gets done taking down Sax with the help of Davis McLean and Paula Matarazzo Will he just go to jail just for being corrupt? Or will he go to jail for the murder of James St. Patrick? Maybe Blanca can blow him up in court and that will be able to help Tasha. I have a feeling that's what will be able to help Tasha. And then maybe she might get let out of jail. Maybe if she blows him up in court, she'll be able to tell everybody that she thinks Sax was at Club Truth the night James St. Patrick got shot. Maybe that's how Sax gets set up for the murder of James St. Patrick. It could all be because of Blanca Rodriguez. So you never know. We just gotta wait and see, but I feel like she's gonna be a major part of the story when it comes to taking down Sax and getting Tasha out of jail. Now she doesn't necessarily like the St. Patrick's. She has always been after the St. Patrick's, just like Sax, just like Angela Valdez, just like everybody in the Eastern District and everybody in the office. But she knows for a fact, Tasha St. Patrick is not the queen pin of this operation. Yes, she came to arrest Tasha St. Patrick because she knows that Tasha tried to set up Q and that Q was at the store buying a Red Bull during the time James got shot. She knows all of this, but she also knows that Tasha definitely is not the queen pin. So she knows Sax is up to his old tricks. He's up to his old dirty tricks trying to just pin something on Tasha. So if Sax gets exposed doing this, he's definitely going down. There's no question about it. He's going down at the end of the day. He's going to be doing time or he's going to end up dead. And then his family's definitely going to talk shit about him like, look, we told you this was going to happen because they think he's going to mess up anyways. And he definitely is. It seems like Sax is always on a winning streak and then something hits him out of nowhere to bring him all the way down. So I have a feeling he's definitely not going to win in Power Book 2 Ghost. He's definitely going to lose. But the question is, will it be because of Blanca Rodriguez? I definitely think so. She's definitely going to have a major part to do with what happens to Sax. But what do you guys think? 
Do you think your girl Blanca came back just to take down Sax? Or do you think there's another purpose for why they brought her character back? Comment down below and let me know. Comment your theories, thoughts, predictions, everything down below in the comment section. Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all Power Book 2 Ghost content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.